Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and we're back in the man cave and we're tinkering with solar chargers, solar panels, lithium ion batteries, the usual stuff. Um, but I've made a few changes again. Um, what I like about these little projects is you're learning all the time. You're learning new methods, you're learning ways of improving things, bettering your projects and that's what I really like about them. Now you will have seen this unit here um, which I came up with in one of my previous videos and it was basically a solar charger which had the solar panel connected up there and then in here I had two of these batteries in there with a um, charge controller unit and a a booster unit or an amplifier and then I could plug my phone in oh hello I could plug my phone in and charge my phone now since I've done that video um, I've added you can't see that very well because of the angle I've added that little voltmeter there so that is monitoring the voltage of the batteries in the uh, unit but what I did is I swapped it, I swapped these two batteries that I had in there for one of these, which was a lot more compact. And it's the same battery that I've got in my Ultra Mini charge controller, um, solar charger. Um, so I thought I had another one of them, so I thought I'll put that in there just to, uh, well, it was just a lot more compact really. But what I found is that this battery doesn't have enough oomph to charge the phone which makes that kind of not useless because it does still charge but only briefly uh, it would it would get me out of a bit of a emergency situation if I really need to just stick some charge into the phone but not enough to fully charge the phone um, I can power LED lights off that no problem and other LED little devices if you've got sorry USB devices if you've got them but that wasn't enough to charge the phone so I thought right that's no good because I want to be able to just plug my phone into a unit on my desk and just charge my phone via the solar panel which is there um, so what I was well, so what I was going to do is I was going to put these two batteries back in there but then I thought well I can use this as a little battery charger and I can have batteries connected to that, charge my phone, but it can also be charging whatever batteries I want for use in torches and stuff like that. So that's what I've done. So I've added another socket on the end there, and that socket is wired into the circuit as though there was a battery there. But I can now, I've, I've put these together, I've got some battery holders, that's obviously for two AA batteries, uh, stuck a plug on the end, I've got same there, but that's three of the uh, 18650 batteries in parallel, and I've done the same again, put a lead on and a plug. So now I can plug whichever battery holder I want into there, and I can charge those batteries. Now I know for you purists out there, it's not the ideal way of charging batteries. Um, these the, they should be balanced and all that kind of stuff. But I'm only using them for torches, and I didn't pay much for them, so I'm not bothered if they go duff at the end of you know a few years charging. I don't know, but for now they seem to be working. So there, I'm charging those batteries, and I'm also if you can see that charging my phone. Now, previously, that voltage, when I had this battery, would, you can't see that very well, can you? Uh, it would drop below 3 volts, and once that drops below 3 volts, the amplifier circuit doesn't work, so that's why it wasn't charging the phone. With these batteries, a lot more oomph. So that's not dropping below 3 volts now, so I'm always getting 5 volts out of there, which charges the phone, so that's good. So I've got them batteries charging all the time, and if I wanted, I could plug that in, 
and then I can plug whichever batteries I want in there these are just uh, the nickel ones um, again I know it's not the correct way of charging these types of batteries or whatever you want to however you want to look at it but it works it charges them and as long as I keep my eye on them I mean these I've been charging these a lot and they never get warm they never get hot but I do keep my eye on them I keep my eye on the voltage once it gets to 4.2 volts I just unplug them because that's uh, that's the maximum voltage you should be charging them to I'm led to believe so uh, and I can also stick the triple A's in there as well they will fit in there even though that's a double A holder so I can charge them batteries as well so it's a little system that I think is now going to work quite well and it's perfect for what I need I can leave that on my desk I can charge whatever batteries I want and as long as I've got those batteries there I can charge my phone and it's easily it's plug and play I can just unplug plug that one in charge the batteries and it's all good I can unplug that solar panel and plug that one in if I want that's slightly more powerful than that but uh, yeah that seems to work okay so I'm quite pleased with that and I suppose you could get battery holders with that hold four batteries giving you more amperage you can get up to I think you can get up to eight in one holder um, so it's up to you but uh, yeah got rid of that and I've swapped it for this much more user friendly much more useful and I'm finding it a lot better and uh, it's charging my phone so that's great so that was just a little update on my little mini solar charger I don't think I'll be uh, improving it any any more than that um, 3.3 three volts on these 3.7 is the sort of optimum charge that I want but uh, I have got the phone plugged in as well so it's obviously draining some power from that as well so yeah there you go my uh, mini solar charger update hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video